Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Trails in Time second chapter and the way it works because they've changed the format a bit from the previous events. So when you first click on it, there is a battle that you have to play out as well as a bit of storyline before you can actually go into the event itself. So I did the battle zero as I called it in a separate video, but once you've cleared it, you can open up the event. So let me just zoom out a little. And just like the previous version, there is, you know, five locations that you can go to and there's obviously missions that unlock as uh, the event goes on. So I'm definitely going to be doing, you know, those challenge missions again, just like before. It's an interesting point. So the Battle Zero was called City in the Sky, okay? And initially, you unlock again the farming missions, right? 35, 45, and level 55. And then there's the challenge missions that will open in a certain number of days. And that applies for, I believe, all five locations, right? So if I go to the second location, same kind of thing, 35, plot mission, challenge mission, right? If I go, I can't even go into the Ancient Hangar Power Core or War Preparation Zone, but they should be very similar. Okay. But what has changed with this event though, is that instead of fighting battles for points, you now fight the battles for items, exchange items, okay? And, you, and if I go into exchange rewards tab, it tells you that for each exchange battle material drop, there are, a, there's basically a recommended party, okay? So if, for example, if I want to do if I want to gather gears, you want to use this party. Luna, Rachel, Estelle, Matthew, Jessica, Liffany. If you want the screws, you want that party. And if you want the light bulb, the vacuum tubes, you want that last party. So basically bring these characters up to level 60. And with two out of four class mastery and a decent set of gear, they, it should be fine for clearing level 55 battles, right? So you're basically forced into using certain parties or team up with a friend or two to each of you and each of you can bring three, you know, two or three characters to more easily clear it. Once you gather these materials though, right? So basically, if you bring a full party for 40% increase, right? I'm guessing you can bring five characters at a 200% increase. So rather than getting three of the item, you're going to get, I guess, nine of the item, right? Let me just quickly jump into the level 35 battle to see. So yes, five characters, as I mentioned. You bring five characters, get nine items rather than three. Or at the higher level missions, you get 27 items rather than nine. So as always, wait for the level 55 maps to unlock before you farm them, but you should clear every map once to get the free Trinity Crystals. So other, once you've gathered material, you can use it to trade for what you want, right? So for example, and there's, there's not just one tab, there's actually three tabs to this but the other tabs need you to clear a certain mission. So the second tab says clear level degenerator, in, degenerator invader to unlock. And then the third tab says clear level memories in the sky to unlock. So I'm not quite sure which missions those are simply because the event hasn't unlocked fully yet, but I imagine, you know, as the days pass, those missions will come up. And once you clear them, you'll get access to the exchange tabs of the other sections. So clearly, you'll need to exchange for Oliver shards, right, to unlock him. And the, uh, it seems like most of the Oliver shards are in the other two tabs. Pretty much, that pretty much sums it up. So yeah, I mean, exchange for what you need. That's pretty much it. I, in my opinion though, everything is worth getting from what I've seen so far, because, you know, class materials, always useful, right? This is, this may be the most useless one because it gives you rare Anarchy workout machines times 10, right? Let me just quickly bring up the training ground. I mean, I don't think anyone needs 
rare items anymore, right? Except for maybe me. <laughs> because I may need some rare items to unlock these characters, for example. But that's rare items. It's not rare books, right? So, I don't know. I just don't think it's that one's worth getting. But it seems like all the other items for exchange are worth it, right? Gold is always nice. All of, our, uh, all of our memory shards are a must, right? Enchantment packs, always useful. Material, class materials for upgrading characters, sure. This is probably the most useless one because it's rare items, but the, you know, Trinity vouchers, SSR headgear, SSR weapon, all worth getting. But just once again, wait till the level 55 versions of the maps are unlocked before farming. So that's everything I wanted to say about this uh, new event. So the farming has changed, that's basically it. You know? You're going to be farming for materials to exchange for rewards, as opposed to just farming battles for points, which automatically unlocks the rewards. Thanks for watching everyone, Nitro out.